John and Lee, David Zabolski has already been with the Beloit Police Department for nearly a year. But now that he's officially chief, he says his work is just getting started. You look around, it's a, it's a beautiful community. And after a year, David Zabolski gets to officially call this place home. I've been through a couple processes, right? So I, I, I know that there are... Uh, Many twists and turns to selection processes. A selection process he's hoping to leave behind as he takes on some of the biggest challenges he's ever faced. A culture change is a very difficult thing. You see, Zabolski came in at a tough time. We learned really that uh, they've had to endure a very toxic environment, in which they frankly didn't uh, feel comfortable uh, expressing their concerns to anyone about uh, the administration and the way this department was managed. Mismanagement turned into mistrust. There were some uh, breaches in how we should have handled policies and procedures that were affecting the way we were doing business. Business Zabolski hopes to better again. This department has found its sense of urgency. It's uh, finding its focus and it's finding out that it can actually have a large effect on reducing crime, fear and disorder in our neighborhoods. And I think that's a thought that Previously, they just didn't have, uh, they didn't think they could, and, and they weren't encouraged to do so. The chief is rebuilding the department with promotions and even adding a new violent crime interdiction team. A task force, he says, is long overdue. Working every day just looking for current wanted suspects, wanted fugitives, uh, working on any gang intelligence information, and looking at our gun crimes. We have a little bit of a issue in terms of guns that are purchased legally by some and then distributed illegally to others and those are coming up in some of our criminal activity as well. But violent crime isn't the only issue. Gaining trust from even the youngest of residents is key. We're asking them to go out and proactively engage with people in their neighborhood so they you know they get to know people they get to know them um, and it just continues to create that bond between us and the community so they uh, we have to create opportunities for them to do that. Opportunities, Zabolski says, that'll pave a path for better. Where do you see Beloit 10 years from now? I see Beloit as, uh, first of all, the, one of the premier police departments in the state and one of the safest cities in the state, and we can definitely do that. As part of that effort for community policing, Beloit Police are holding two listening sessions this month. You can find the dates and locations for those listening sessions on NBC15.com. Just click on this story.